Hey, what's going on? My name is Tom Clayson. Here's a few of the online activities that worked for me as a PE teacher. Um, kicking it off, I like to start any of my online lessons with a warm up. Uh, as PE teachers, I think our main goal is just to get, get the kiddos up and moving during our online sessions. This is just an easy way to get the kiddos up, active, engaged, get those brains going, get those muscles working. Um, something that's just really worked well with, for me. I hope it'll work well for you. Um, one of the first lessons I'm going to talk about today is juggling. This is one of the lessons that I wasn't quite sure of when I first started. Um, this actually did work out well for me because I was able to let the kiddos use a variety of different uh, items to juggle. I told them they could bring scarves, they can use you know paper towels, uh, they could use towels if they whatever they needed. Uh, as you can see behind me here, I actually was able to have the, a lot of them use bags or plastic bags. Um, a couple of kiddos even use some stuffed animals, so it was great. Um, in the lesson, I like to bring in some I can statements, just some simple things that kind of bring direction to our lessons, things that the kiddos know that they can do. I think it's an important thing to have the what and why for PE all uh, available for everyone. What are we doing and why are we doing it is a very important thing that we should be answering each and every single time we have a lesson. As you can see here, I have broken this into different challenges. If we are in person, I'd probably break this um, down into two different days. But up again, since we're online, I'm just trying to get back to as much information as we can because I only meet with my kiddos once a week for half an hour. Um, so you can see with one scarf progression and then two scarf progression, I was able to get through this pretty simply in uh, our half an hour session. And then of course, some silly scarf tricks because why not, who doesn't like that? Um, this next one is an example of something I use for Halloween, but this could be used for a lot of you know different activities in PE. Um, what the kiddos do is I'd call them up to the screen and then I just have these linked to different slides. As you can see, each of these are able to go to a different activity that we would all be doing together. I felt like this one worked out really well because out of the five different things that they could click per slide, four of them were an activity for the kiddos and one of them was an activity for me. And the kiddos really, really like tried to uh, find the one that was making me exercise. Anyway, um, as you can see, you can do this with a variety of different things. Just make sure you have a nice picture on the background and then link or make these targets that you can click going forward. Fitness land is a great one. Um, this was one of the activities that um, took a very long time to make. Um, if this is something that interests you, shoot me an email or get a hold of me online. I'd be more than happy to share with everyone. But basically, this is very similar to Candyland, and the kiddos are basically going to pick a character and follow that character as they go through different activities um, throughout the game. So first click here, you can see that the kiddos will be doing 10 crab kicks, and you can see that one of the characters is moving across the screen. And as we click and continue, they continue to move along with them. At the end, you can see one of our teachers won the game. Everybody got to cheer. Um, one of the things I've worked towards more recently is getting into a little bit more nutrition-based curriculum. Talked a little bit more about what the kiddos should be doing at home, definitely things that can keep them active and things that keep them healthy. One of the things is just talking about staying hydrated. Um, recommended that kiddos have about seven, eight cups. Tell them that they need about seven cups. And after you're able to go through a couple of different slides like this, you can do some different questions, true or false, vegetables and fruits should be made up most of your plate. Well, of course, this is true. And you can move along with the slides that way. One of the last things I want to talk about is actually making that connection with the kiddos. Um, I am solely Google based. Um, one of the things that I've struggled with is I have like 60 to 80 kids on at a time. So just being able to put the chat out, let them have their, you know, something that they like or something that they will be doing later after class is important. Um, I highly encourage everyone to uh, use the chat, get out, communicate with the kiddos and encourage them to keep being active and healthy. Well, hope you enjoyed our second round of sample activities. Take it easy.